This is Ray's Magnetic Battery Part 2. I um, have two little glasses of water with a little bit of salt in there. I've had these contact together so they'd even out for about 20 minutes or so. We're going to be seeing if a magnet has any effect on the current. Normally if you have a conductor, that's it. It just conducts. But with a magnet, perhaps, the current flowing through a magnetic field changing from a north to a south, perhaps that has some effect on the current and voltage. The plating that is on the magnets, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's nickel or chrome. I have a small contact lead alligator clip. It's either uh, chrome or nickel. Not sure. I was hoping it was chrome. <clears throat> okay, we're going to put down that the chrome is about 0 0.051. Approximately, let's go, <clears throat> 0.02 volts, somewhere in that range. If the coating is nickel, then I'm going to use a small nickel here. And we have approximately the same. <clears throat> 0.02, Looks like it's climbing. It's a positive voltage. It may settle around 0.03. Looks like it is volts. Okay. Okay, now we're having the mag magnet. I have it marked north and south. Let's see what happens. There's always a potential difference there. I think in the mixture, maybe it's off or something gets started faster in the one, so it has that voltage difference, but it's pretty close to uh, zero. So. Right now, we're going to put the north on this side and the south on that side. Okay. See it rapidly climbing. Looks like it's evening out. <clears throat> around let's go point oh two and that's a negative minus okay now we're going to I have that down there. Now we're going to flip it over. And we have a positive. And see how quickly it climbs. We're at 0.1, 0 0.3. So it'll settle down somewhere around there and maybe even drop some. It's drawing a load, so that kind of makes a lot of demands on it. But we went up to a 0.12, and it's uh, dropping down. And it'll fluctuate back and forth. 
But some of the theories that I had, there's definitely a change in the current flowing through a magnet going from south to north or north to south. Pretty dramatic when we changed it over this last time. So the question is, is there a current and voltage being produced more than there is in the cup itself with a direct contact? Apparently there is because we had the nickel and the alligator clip making a, a contact. And it stayed just, you know, down in there. So I'm going to let it rest a little bit from drawing so much current that it depletes the uh, charges in the cups. But where did that extra voltage and current come from when we put that magnet on there the last time? That's the question. So you may have some theories of your own. It looked like there was extra current being generated with the minute currents going through. Did it draw it faster? Don't know. Where did that extra voltage and current come from? That's a good question. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll go ahead and place this on there one more time. If you let it rest, of course you'll get a, a better reading. Okay. We'll go ahead. And you can see there again, where's this? It's point two. Oh. Point two. So if we had point two volts, these are positive. If you remember the other readings, they were negative. So we can't say that it's just boosting the negative voltage when we're having a positive. We're having some really good results there. That's encouraging. A plus point two. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this demonstration. Take it to the next level. Enjoy your inventing.